Butternut squash is one of my favourite soups. It's a great winter soup, a wonderful colour, and butternut squash is full of potassium, magnesium, and really good for us. It's very, very straightforward to do. You need a couple of onions. In this case, I've chosen white onions because of the colour of the squash. It keeps everything light. So just chop the onions roughly. Next, take the squash and again, just chop it into four. No smaller than that, because when it's cooked, we're going to um, scoop the flesh out of the skin. Use a teaspoon just to take the seeds out. It's the most lovely color, look at that. I'm then gonna just simply take garlic clove, split that a little bit. break up some butter and then I'm going to put a little bit of our oil over the top. I'm then going to put this in the oven to cook for about an hour, a medium oven for about 60 minutes. One tray of roasted vegetables. I'm going to let it cool. So when it's cool, it's just, just you want to scoop out all the flesh. The squash, onions and garlic have now all been blended or pureed in, for my case, an Imagine Mix, or you can use a handheld blender. And I've now put it all back in the saucepan here. I've used quite a bit of the stock and it's up to you as to how much you want to use and how thin or thick you'd like your soup to be. The next magic ingredient is just to put a little bit of this delicious coconut milk in. It makes it so silky and smooth and it gives it the most lovely taste. So I'm going to put that in, put it on the stove to heat it through for four or five minutes, bring it back and see what it tastes like. So here we have this wonderful butternut squash soup. It's actually gluten-free. I used a little bit of butter over the vegetables, but you don't have to. You can just use rapeseed oil, in which case it'd be lactose-free. Just a little bit of coconut, which most people can have. It's a very pretty color. And actually, I'm just gonna try and pour it, or you could use a ladle into the bowl and I think it's lovely with a little bit of coriander, chopped coriander. I'm going to just try a little bit. Mm. Delicious. And that is either a supper dish on its own with some crusty bed or the first course of a more elaborate meal.